you could begin by saying your name and saying where we are right now. Am I supposed to spell my name? I know how to spell it, so you don't even need to worry about it. Oh, all right. It's Peggy Shute, and I live in San Marcos, California. Actually, uh, an area called Lake San Marcos because of this beautiful lake in back of me. And if you could begin by saying something that you're passionate about. Well, it's hard to, uh, to say one thing, you know, because I do have a lot of passions. <laughs> I'm very passionate about animals and animal rights, and this here is Piper, who is a um, rescue from the SPCA. Um, I'm very passionate about justice, and um, something happens to me when I see that there's injustice, and then I try really hard to um, get involved to change that. And when I was thinking about this, I realized that um, I'm passionate about not getting old. And I thought, I need to explain that because it, I'm not I'm not opposed to aging. Aging is a wonderful process, you know, and it's full of surprises as you go through the different stages. But I don't want to be old in mind, body, and spirit. So to offset that sense of getting rigid and just sort of letting yourself shrivel up and become old, I'm always um, trying to do some exercise to keep the old body in kind of a shape. Um, and I'm always open to new things and meeting people. I think and someone went, once asked me, uh, what keeps you young? It was a nurse actually at a doctor's office. And I said, hanging out with younger people. <laughs> And it's true, you know, that that's when you're learning about what the direction of the world is actually going in, when you can talk to younger people and find out what their thoughts are. So um, I, I, w I hope to be able to travel up until my 80s, you know, and continue to see the world. I think anybody that travels actually um, you can't help but broaden your views of the world. You know, you just can't stay in your little comfortable box. And so I, I just feel that it's important to not grow old. And it's a passion of mine to, to discover new ideas, new things. I love art. I love beauty. As you can tell from my home, it's very important to me. And War is the antithesis of beauty, so I'm always trying to do something about that. And I would say that just being open, caring about people, and caring about my little dog, Piper, my, my, my lovely daughter, my, my friends, all those things I'm passionate about. If you could now say something that you're doing that you believe is making a difference. Well, we'll see. Um, I used to be a filmmaker and a film editor in Hollywood. And, and then I, my dream was always to really write. You know, well, originally my dream was to be a, a director. But the time I was, was trying to break through, um, women didn't have much of a prayer for that title, so I, I got into film editing, but my, what I really wanted to do was write. And so I, I wrote this one screenplay that was about the Voting Rights Act and the marches and, and the violent times that our country went through to try and enable everybody to vote. and. Now I'm, I'm taking that screenplay and changing it into a novel. And I hope to have it done. I, I think <laughs> it's almost been my life's work, which is ridiculous. But I'm, I'm hoping that by writing this book, 
that a lot of people that really don't even understand that people gave their lives in order that people should vote, that this is so important right now with the voter suppression that's going on in our country. And I can only hope that what I've written will make people stop and think about that and hopefully change this trajectory that we're on to, to try and get fewer people to vote when actually we should be trying to get everyone to vote. And what is the title of the book? Soul of a Nation. Soul of a Nation. Um, the next question is if you see a character strength in yourself that has taken you through those experiences. Um, a character strength. Well, I suppose um, it's definitely perseverance. <laughs> I've been trying to do this now, I think, for 30 years. Um, and I don't ever give up very easily with whatever I'm being challenged by. You know? And I put myself in challenges all the time. You know, I, I do things that I've never done before and then just kind of go, I'm going to persevere through this. That's fantastic. And my, my last question is if you had a piece of advice for others, for the world that you'd want to share, what would it be? Believe that there's goodness in every person and, and not to assume that someone is an enemy because I think when you scratch the surface um, and get beyond some of the stereotypical things that we think about other people, and just the cultural differences that we're still all human beings.